me, Linnell, and it is April 14th. Yes, April 14th. It's a Saturday, um, 2018, and I am here in our little forest place, and um, I wanted to make a video because um, there's a phenomenon that happens here in the forest every year that I think is super cool. And I wanted to document it. Mainly I wanted to document it to see if it happens, it, you know, how, how much it fluctuates from year to year of when it happens. So that's why it's important that I know today is April 14th. Um, so we've been living here in the forest in the Pacific Northwest for, this will be our third spring. And so every, I just... I don't know why I noticed this thing that happens in the forest here. So every year around this time, uh, a plant comes up in the canopy under the trees called false lily of the valley. And I, I have the, the botanical name. It's called my anthemum dilatatha. Tum, dilatatum, myanthemum, <laughs> dilatatum. <laughs> anyway, it's easier to call it false lily of the valley. So every year, this really beautiful plant comes up under in the green belt under the trees, and within a week or two of it coming up, it all gets eaten by the slugs. So it's a really, really strange. Thing. Like, you would think at some point the plant would just stop coming back because it gets eaten every year. <laughs> um, but it comes back. It's beautiful. And um, I guess it, it grows from rhizomes under the ground. Funny enough, the slugs hibernate under the ground. You'd think maybe they would be eating the, the uh, rhizomes, but they don't. They eat the leaves. Um, Another thing that's really interesting about this plant is it, it does have a Native American history for being a medicinal, medicinal plant. Um, apparently, the Native Americans would use the leaves as a poultice for cuts. Um, they would um, eat the roots for fertility, to restore fertility in men. Um, and the berries were are edible too. Um, I, I guess they don't taste that great, um, but they ate them. Uh, I guess the the kids were known to you know kind of snack on them, and the adults apparently would pick them while they were green, which is apparently when the kids would eat them. Um, but they would pick them and store them till they turned red and then they would, the adults would eat them that way. Um, I don't know how they ever got any berries cause mine get eaten up by slugs every year. So that's really, I just think it's a really fascinating thing that happens and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I also wanted to share a little quote, um, today from one of my heroes. I don't know if he was a hero, but Henry David Thoreau, you know, went and lived on Walden Pond for a year and did lots of observations of, of nature, but, um, you know, history has made him into a philosopher, and I guess he was a philosopher. But I found two really cool quotes that I wanted to share with you guys, and the first one is, it's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. And so I thought that really relates to these plants that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I could just look at it and go, oh, there's a plant. But what I've seen through these three springs is like just an amazing phenomenon of nature. And uh, so, yeah, I'll take you out and show you the plants. Okay, so I'm out here at the berm where the lily of the valley, or the false lily of the valley, is growing. Um, I think you can see it pretty good in this camera. This is a bit of a hill 
that it grows on. And um, I'm going to zoom in. I did find that there are indeed berries growing on these. And there's a good shot. So I guess I just really never noticed it in the past because the slugs probably eat it before. I mean, this will be gone. This will this will probably green up a little bit more. But I about a week the slugs will start munching it. If you zoom, if I zoom in here, you can see that it's already getting some of it's already getting eaten. And I haven't noticed a ton of slugs out yet, but um, I've definitely seen a few. So I'm going to walk around here a little bit so you can get some good angles on this. Um, it grows on the south side of this hill. Um, it does spread around a little bit where it's got this is eastern exposure. But you can see it's really not as thick as the stuff in the middle is growing. Pretty, pretty nice carpet of it going on there. When we first moved here and it came up, I thought it was Trillium. And I was super excited. I thought, oh my gosh, we're going to have a field of Trilliums here. But it wasn't. And that's okay. I these are really cool um, they don't grow on any of the other areas that are green belt around me I'll take you around here that's all green belt there's a lot over there that's empty we got green belt down there and um, no false lily of the valley there so um, yeah, it's very localized to this one spot. These are wandering maple trees that grow here. So my guess is that there's a relationship with those as well. I have one last little quote to read you guys um, before I go. This is again from Henry David Thoreau. And one of the things he wrote was, Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads and I just thought that that was a perfect quote for this little piece of heaven here in the forest you guys have a great day and maybe I'll do a follow-up after it's been eaten or maybe part part eaten to show you guys what happens but I hope you enjoyed my vi video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to our um, our YouTube channel, The Need to Know Files. Thanks, you guys. Bye.